full time thoughts. So, West Ham 2, Newcastle United 0. Still here at the stadium, still half owning this gaff. But uh, most importantly, um, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this game. So, didn't really turn up at all. Um, uh, bad judgment in my in my book. I was starting yet. This was Really and truly, they should be punished. Uh, somehow, Lanzini got man of the match. I would have put definitely Declan Rice to have man of the match. Great goal taken by him. I know there's this whole debate about who's better, Rice or Longstaff, and Longstaff appears to be injured. Apparently, he's been spotted um, going off in crutches. But really and truly, now we should have played a lot better than that. But at the same time, um, yeah, we really didn't turn up. Perish chance. Apart from that, nothing, mate. Even the substitutions were wrong. Again, we should have brought that. Uh, again, I thought we should have brought a mood to it. Yeah, should have definitely come on for sure. And uh, disappointing. But again, we've had a good couple of games. You know, we've had you know Burnley in the week, and I think from that, we just looked a bit leggy as well. So, all in all, there yeah, we've got Lawler behind me. Um, all in all, just like Paul said. Really shy, really. I'm not gonna lie to you. We should have played much better than that. Uh, Beaten by the better team, and hopefully now we can go on to the next game and actually put out a decent, decent lineup. I think Rafford still got it wrong. I still think he should have played Yedlin, um, and then even Shah. I think Shah just had a bit of a shocker as well. Because let's face it, he was at fault for both of the goals. Um, Paul defended for the first one and then for the penalty people can say oh he dived and all the rest of it but nah not for me I can see it clear as day and I was up in the gods and it was definitely a foul <clears throat> and then it was, that was it 2-0 um, so yeah we live and we learn as I said we had two really good results back to back in fact quite a few good results um, so not to forget but this is definitely one to forget for sure I'll have a full review coming on later maybe even tomorrow because let's face it it's going to take a while to get back home from here but uh, yeah let me know your thoughts in the comment section below I haven't seen any of the goals back but I thought Shah was at fault for both of them and then Rafa didn't make the right choices in terms of substitution and, and uh, personnel to, to change the game because we could have we could have got out of them um, our mirror looks promising uh, probably the only one really and truly to, to get out of them Diame when he came on in the second half he looked promising so that was a good substitution by Rafa give his give him his credit with that one but apart from that really and truly like there's no real standout performers with that one you know everyone really had a, a poor game but I'm, I'm sure we're we're due one of them because we've had so many good results um, as of late so there we have it anyway anyway I'm rambling on now so review coming up soon um, West Ham 2 Newcastle nil. West Ham you fully deserved it I can't take that away from you but we could have definitely prevented a lot of that 